afternoon, my name is Sean Monroe. Today on the news, we will be talking about the endangered bird known as the Eevee or the Hawaiian honey creeper. The Eevee is a beautiful scarlet bird with black wings and tail. The females are six inches and the males are slightly larger. The babies are white with a gray spot on their head and the juveniles are yellow, black, and brown. The Eevees live on Kauai, Maui, and Hawaii in the canopies of the high elevation forests. The Eevees are nectivorous eaters, which means they eat nectar. Like from the Ohia blossom, they also eat arthropods. Arthropods are small insects like ants, spiders, and cockroaches. They can feed on dozens of flowers in a few minutes. They lay two to three eggs in a cup-shaped nest. The first, leg is, the first egg is laid five days after the nest is complete. The babies take 14 days to hatch, and on day 21, they can fly short distances. They stay with their parents until they are four months old. And next we will have Julia Digman from the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project talk about predators and threats, and also how we can save these. Hello, and today we'll be talking to Julia about the e EV bird for my endangered animals research project. So Julia, what do you, what do, you do? What is your job? Um, hi, I'm Julia. Um, I work with the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project, um, which is a project that works on protecting uh, the native birds that you can find here on Kauai, nowhere else in the world. And uh, among these birds is the iiwi um, bird that you chose for your project. Um, I do two things mainly. Um, one thing I do is outreach. That means I talk to uh, kids at the schools and I also talk to adults at uh, events or sometimes I give talks. Um, and I teach them about the birds and all the challenges uh, they face uh, here on Kauai. And then another thing I do is I do data analysis. That means um, I look at the data that is collected in the field about the birds um, and I analyze it so that we can make decisions um, about uh, how to best protect these birds um, from going extinct. Okay. Where do you find the EVs on Kauai? Uh, right now, the only place you can find the EV here on Kauai is if you go up to Poke'e. Um, you have to go to the Alakai Swamp and you have to hike a little bit. Um, Pihea Trail is a good place um, if you want to go see some EV. Um, and the only place is in Poke'e. Okay. What do the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project do to save the EV? Um, okay, so the, the, the thing that um, you have to do is first you have to figure out what it is that um, is the cause for the decline of the population of the birds. And in the case of the EEV, um, it is a disease called avian malaria that is transmitted by mosquitoes. Have you heard about this disease? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so avian malaria is, um, in a way, it's like uh, the coronavirus for humans. It's like it's a pandemic. Uh, the, the, the difference is it's not caused by uh, a virus, it's caused by plasmodium. Um, that makes the birds really sick, and in the case of the EEV, it's really um, uh, fatal for them. So uh, a lot of EEV die after they have been bitten by a mosquito that has avian malaria. Um, so one thing the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project um, has to do is we have to go and find where those mosquitoes are, where they breed, right? So that we can reduce the population um, of the mosquitoes up in the Alakai where um, we find the EEV. So we go into the field and we look for um, puddles or you know standing water um, where mo mosquitoes could breed and we try to identify where those areas are um, and then we can go in and reduce um, the, the amount of mosquitoes that are in these areas. Have the efforts of the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project increased the EEV population? Uh, okay so um, we just found out about maybe two years ago that the population of the EEV on Kauai is declining so much um, so what we have done uh, in the past three years is tr uh, try to um, find out or figure out why it is that the population is going down so much. And um, it is because of the mosquitoes, um, what I've said um, earlier. 
Um, so now what we are doing is we are trying to figure out what to do about it. So we have not increased the population of the EEV um, because we are still trying to figure out what it is exactly that we have to do have to do that. Okay. Do you have any in captivity to breed? EEV? Yes. Um, we do not have EEV in captivity. Um, we have two other birds um, that are endemic to Kauai, so only found um, on Kauai in captivity, which is the Akikiki and the Akeke, but not the EEV. Okay. At Alakai Swamp, we had seen fences put up. Are they to protect the EEV's habitat? Yeah, that's correct. Um, they are um, there to keep the pigs out and also other uh, animals, but mainly the pigs. Um, pigs are a problem here on um, Kauai because there's a lot of them. And then they walk around in the forest and they uh, dig up uh, wallows um, and then in those wallows water accumulates and then mosquitoes breed right in yeah. the water and then we have more mosquitoes which is bad for the birds as we, as we heard earlier so these fences um, are put up so that those pigs cannot go into these areas so that the habitat or the, the native forest in these areas is um, good for the birds so the walker so the people who are walking in the swamp can go in but not the pigs right uh, there are some places where walkers can go in, um, but it depends where, where you are in the forest. Some, some places are fenced in where, where also walkers cannot go. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever seen an EEV? Uh, yeah, I've seen EEV many times, um, not only here on Kauai, but also on the Big Island. Okay. How is rapid ODEA death affecting the EEV's food source? So rapid ohia death is a disease that's caused by a fungus and it's affecting um, the ohia trees, it's killing the ohia trees um, uh, very quickly um, in some cases. Uh, we have it here now on Kauai, um, but right now, luckily, it has not reached um, the forest up in Pokehe. So uh, as of now, here on Kauai, at least, it has not um, affected the EEV birds that we can find here on Kauai. It has an impact on the Big Island because there it's uh, far more spread out uh, over the island and has devastated large parts of the Ohia forest. And the thing is, um, for all our birds, not only for the Eevee, but also for the other native Hawaiian birds that you have here, they need the native forest to survive. That's their source of food, that's where they live, that's where they nest. And uh, if we lose uh, a big part of um, the forest here on Kauai, of the Ohia forest, that would, would be devastating for all the birds, not only the EEV. Have you found a way to um, get rid of the rapido here death fungus yet? Um, so we are not actually uh, working on that, um, but I know that there's uh, some research groups um, on the Big Island and also on Oahu that uh, are working on a way to um, uh, eliminate uh, rapido here death. Um, as of now, we don't have a treatment. Um, we know it's a fungus that lives in the waterways, so inside the tree, and it comes in through um, injury. So when you injure an ohia, like, like let's say you go and you break um, mm -hmm. uh, a twig or um, break off a flower even, um, this is an entry point for the fungus. So one of the things that are most important um, to protect our ohia is to actually not injure the ohia trees here on Kauai. So don't take flowers, don't take twigs or leaves from the trees. So like getting a cousin getting a very bad infection? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to us today about the EEV 